Section 1 of the Sherman Act prohibits any contract, combination, or conspiracy in restraint of trade. Section 2 of the Sherman Act forbids any person or combination from monopolizing or attempting to monopolize any part of interstate commerce. In the 1959 case of Clores Incorporated versus Broadway Hale Stores Incorporated, the United States Supreme Court considered how Sections 1 and 2 of the Sherman Act work in tandem to address concerted boycotts. Clores Incorporated operated a retail store that sold household appliances. Broadway Hale Stores Incorporated, a department store chain, opened a store next door to Clores. The two stores competed directly in the household appliances market. As competition intensified, Clores alleged that Broadway Hale, 10 national appliance manufacturers, and their distributors conspired to boycott Clores by either not selling to Clores or selling to Clores at unreasonable prices. Clores further alleged that Broadway Hale used its monopoly power to compel the boycott. Clores asserted that the boycott significantly reduced its ability to compete in the market for household appliances. Clores brought suit against Broadway Hale, alleging violations of Sections 1 and 2 of the Sherman Act. Broadway Hale moved for summary judgment. Broadway Hale didn't dispute Clores' allegations, but produced evidence that many other retailers sold the appliances that Clores claimed Broadway Hale was keeping out of its store. Thus, any alleged agreement didn't harm the public. The district court granted summary judgment, concluding that the claims didn't concern public harm and therefore weren't unlawful under antitrust law. The Ninth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.